What's up guys, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and today I'm gonna teach you how to do those amazing wipe transitions. So since I've been putting out a couple of my latest travel videos, uh, Amazing Thailand and 48 Hours in Bangkok, I've been getting a lot of requests, especially from uh, people on my Instagram uh, DMs, basically asking to do a tutorial or to show how I do those like wipe transitions that you see in the video. But the first step that I just want to talk about real quick before I show you how to do it in editing because it's something you have to start doing when you're shooting. So when you're shooting, what you have to do is start and end every clip with some movement. So if I were to have the camera in my hand right here, I would have one in my hand except I'm using it to film this video and I don't have another one on me right now. So right now you're just gonna pretend that I have a camera right here. I have my camera right here and say I'm on the street filming something. I'm gonna, when I press record, I'm gonna press record and then I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna move it up into frame while recording, find my frame, shoot something, whenever I got the shot I like, I'm then gonna whip it out. Same kind of thing, it doesn't matter what, you can go any direction you want, just you gotta wipe in and wipe out. Another example I could be shooting, I wipe in from the left, find my frame, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, and out. So, to do this effect, step one has to be taken while you're actually shooting. You can't do this effect just in post, just in editing. You need to shoot this way, and then you need to edit it this way, which I will show you. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, I'm gonna go over to the edit bay and show you guys how to basically stitch them together. I need to get over there. Well, that worked. All right, so right now I'm gonna give you a quick example of this whoosh transition and how you accomplish it um, when editing, and it's really simple. So here I have my timeline, and I have two clips where I wipe away. Um, right here, where I'm on this palm tree, and then towards the end of the clip, I start to wipe down, and I wipe down and away to the grass. You can see that. So I'm on the palm tree and I wipe down and away to the grass. Then on this next clip, I have this clip where of the girl that I was filming here, where I come from the sky and I whip down into her and land on her for the shot. Basically, all you need to do is put these clips, these two clips side by side. And now, when I have these two clips side by side, I have this clip starting on the palm tree, panning down and away, and then you can see right here, we jump to the next frame where it whip pans down in to the girl. Now, when you run them back to back and you let it play, you get a nice smooth transition. Now, to enhance this transition and make it better, you always want to play with the speed of the clips. So for example, as you can see, these clips right here are sped up. This one's 500%, this one's 100, 450%. So the way you enhance this effect is by speed ramping the different clips. So for example, when I'm wiping into the shot here, I speed it up, speed it up, and then once I hit right there, the clip goes back to its normal 100%. So we quickly wipe in and slow it down back to its normal clip. All these shots, I typically shoot in 120 frames a second, occasionally 60, but really everything's 120 frames a second. So you're always gonna need to speed up the clip because when you're shooting at 120 frames a second and you whip away, that whip is still gonna be in slow motion. So you're gonna need to boost the speed here in Premiere. And by to do that, you just go to the clip, Command J, and you select the speed. So instead of 100, which the clip would normally be, I just came in here and 450. So, again, clips side by side, and then you pick a moment where they blend. Honestly, I could have blended this one a little better since this ends on green right here. I should have started the next clip starting on green. So I should have started that clip about right here. And then that's gonna make for a lot more seamless of an edit because it goes from green on one clip. So you have palm tree to green to green. 
and now it's super seamless. And again, to enhance this clip, you're gonna need to ask add some sort of whoosh sound effect or sound effect to really sell that whip because without the sound effects the the visual effect still looks cool but it's not as cool as it could be so in here i took this whoosh it sounds it sounds so funny to say whoosh that's a weird word i i took this whoosh so i got this whoosh sound <laughs> can't get over that word so i took this whoosh transition kind of sound effect and I underlay right here where it's the, the, the main meat of the sound, the whoosh sound, and overlay it right where the two clips transition. Now that sound effects with the visual effect really sells that transition, that whoosh transition that everyone seems to love so much. So essentially that's what this effect is. You need to shoot it a certain way and you just need to simply edit it a certain way. It's not complicated, it's easy to do, anyone can do it. Um, it's just trying to find the right moments of when you wipe away and wipe in. Um, and you just, honestly, it doesn't even need to be the same type of wipe. Like it doesn't need to be wipe up to wipe up. For example, this clip wipes down off the palm tree and this one of the girl wipes up to down. As long as you have that kind of blurry motion wipe and you stitch those two clips together, you're gonna get that cool effect. If you guys wanna see any more other tutorials I have, I'm gonna put up a link here in a second. So make sure you tune in and see some of those other tutorials that I have on this YouTube channel. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at, at Jacob Owens. Check out all my films and videos and music videos and all that stuff. Make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Until next time, that. I post a video on this channel and y'all will see me. <laughs>